Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to add your traffic cars on your road. In the previous video I made the road, you can see it by selecting view roads and then press the select road button. Now I will put some cars on it. To do that, select an empty game object in your scene and add the traffic component on it. This will initialize your traffic. You will need your player, this is used to spawn traffic only around the player. It can be your camera or your player game object. The number of vehicles you want to add, I recommend around 20. The vehicle pool, I will explain in details how it works in a future video. Basically, it is a collection of your traffic car prefabs. For a better explanation on what minimum and remove distance are, let's take a look again at your grid size. A grid cell has 15 meters, as you can see. So, if you set your minimum distance to 100 meters, it means that a car can be instantiated in front of the player at minimum 100 meters, even if it is not obstructed by anything. This distance should be set based on your draw distance, so you do not see cars appear suddenly in front of you. The distance to remove is the distance at which a car will be removed from its current position and it will be added again closer to the player. You can adjust this value based on your gameplay experience. The yellow light time and the green light time are used to control the intersection. I will explain in a later video what they do. Let them add minus 1 and they will be ignored. After this, hit the apply settings button. Always when you change something using the traffic settings window, press the apply settings button so that all your changes will be applied on your scene. Now you can play and you should see all your cars on the road. And when they reach the end, they will stop because only this portion of the road was created. As you can see, it is very easy to add traffic cars inside your scene. In the next video, I will draw more roads and show you how you can connect them. Thank you for watching and if you have any question, you can leave them in the comment section or send me an email.